So first one, like two or three days ago, he made a really good video that I really recommend you to watch. So it's like 28, 29 minutes long, something like that. Uh, and it's about uh, what he's right now, what he's gonna do. So he's changing his brand. He will stop uploading the normal self improvement videos that he used to upload. He will make a shift. Why? So he was talking about, for at least 20 minutes, talking about the whole self improvement space right now. Uh, it's getting, it's becoming like cringe, at least a little bit, because uh, some of the guys who are recording videos in this industry are giving just bad advice. Some are giving useless advice, uh, knowing that most of their audience won't take any action. And then selling like courses and stuff to help those people uh, just take action or something like that. But mostly uh, the whole space is like not really good right now. If you look at the videos which get the most views that are like, those are just those clickbaity videos with like clickbait title, clickbait thumbnail, talking about like girls or hoes or money or flexing or something like that. There is no actually, there is almost no videos that will get views when talking about how to actually take action. Like literally on my channel, I have a ton of videos from which a few are like bullshit, just like those clickbaity videos. A few are like average and in a few videos, actually in a bunch of videos, I'm literally giving you how to actually be like consistent, how to actually get results because uh, why are you watching these videos if you are not going to take any action to get any results? If you, if you want to be entertained in the evening before I go to sleep, sometimes when I want to get entertained, I will open a video from Mr. Who's the Boss uh, to entertain myself about a new phone that came out or I will watch entertaining animals like uh, there is a spider in Australia, a huntsman spider, and there is a video in my recommended huntsman spider versus a cockroach. And I will open the video, just entertain myself to have a laugh, and yeah, that's fair enough. But if you watch these uh, self-improvement videos for entertainment, like, that's a bad idea, because they aren't uh, that entertaining, and you get the false sense of productivity compared to just entertaining yourself via normal videos and being aware of the fact that you are probably wasting time. Uh, but... Uh, people will still, 90 something percent of people will watch self-improvement videos just like to feel productive or like thinking that they are gonna do something, but they won't take any action. And in the videos that I actually give value, those videos get like 20, 30 views and not many people watch until the end, maybe like five people. So that's really disappointing and that's uh, mostly why, uh, why First Man is taking a big step back from this self-improvement space right now on YouTube. And uh, it got me thinking uh, about the reason why I started this channel. And if I remember correctly, more than a half a year ago, I would record videos where I literally tell you what I'm going to do. Like try uh, businesses in real life and online businesses, so, online businesses, obviously. And the point of the YouTube channel is to document my journey, obviously. I mean, the title of the channel is literally that. Uh, documenting my journey. Uh, and the title of the channel is Until I Get a Tesla, but that's just like a goofy title that is more fun than just like Until Financial Freedom or whatever. This is a more unique title. So uh, mostly it reminded me that the point of my channel also is to just document my journey and give real advice from my experience and from the books that I have read, because some of you guys maybe don't have time to read as much as I can. I read like nowadays even two or three hours a day so i can read a ton of information and then when i see something useful i will uh, tell it to you guys so yeah yeah i mean uh, it's pretty interesting i definitely recommend you to watch uh, his video because you will probably also take a big step back from watching like fresh and fit podcast uh, tates and other guys because uh, most of the guys who watch them don't take any action. They are like, oh, let's go, but they don't actually do much. Uh, you actually need to take action because like those guys are useful if you are just starting out to like get you out of depression maybe or give you like advice how to start. But if you already know what you should be doing, like stop watching YouTube. Like nowadays I will watch maybe like half an hour of YouTube a day maximum, except when it's like, it's just like evening. And I wanted to watch a tarantula eat a cockroach, so I will watch for another 20 minutes. But mostly, I have been trying to focus my energy on uh, working, something that's meaningful to me, uh, helping clients, reading, 
enjoying nature, workouts and my self-improvement habits and recording these videos, obviously. So, yeah, I would like to continue doing what I have been doing so far. And uh, the point of this channel will never be to just like quickly motivate you or whatever. It will be just to give you valuable information from my own experience or something like that. So, yeah, guys, see you tomorrow.